Hey there, how's it going? I'm a Spanish game dev that would like to introduce to you my new project, Dungraid. I'll explain the name in just a second. As you can see, it's a top-down shooter with procedurally generated dungeons, which means each run you get a new unique dungeon. You might have already guessed it, it is in fact a roguelike, I know I know, there are a ton of them. But in this one, you have to choose a debuff after each level, hence the name Dungraid. I also want to stick as much as possible to the idea of a roguelike, therefore there won't be any permanent upgrades, there will be a ton of objects, weapons, enemies, and so on. It's 1 bit pixel art, which limits my color palette to black and white, so it forces me to be more creative. I chose this art style for its simplicity and also because it's not as used as much as I would like, probably due to the restrictions it gives you. I mean, if you've ever done pixel art, you probably know what I mean. And even if you haven't, I mean, you've just got literally two colors. So today, I would like to add a meal attack to one of my AI, fix the laser movement, a hit effect for the melee, add sound effects, make an effect for when the bullets get destroyed, make a slime AI that when killed turns into smaller slimes, and to also let the player carry two weapons. It might be too much since I also want to edit this video and have other things to do, so let's get going. It's 11.30 am and I finished the melee attack for the AI, the slime AI, and gave the player the ability to have two weapons. However, I didn't manage to fix the laser which I tried, so I'm going to leave it for another day. Time to keep working. I finished everything else, except for the sounds, but I have encountered two new bugs that need fixing. The first one has to do with the spawning of the small slimes, because sometimes they get stuck in the wall, so I have to spawn them inside the grid. And the second one has to do with the carrying of the weapons. When you carry two weapons and grab another one, it changes for the one that you don't have equipped, which sounds kinda confusing, cause it is. I fixed both bugs, but one of the solutions was just a simple patch, which I'm not really happy with, so I'll find a more optimal solution for it in the future. I also started working on the sounds, but I'm not happy with the results at all. I worked with VFXR, which some of you may be familiar with, and I wasn't able to create something that felt right. However, I'm confident that I will be able to create such sounds with other programs in the future. I'm going to now create some boss designs, which I won't show because I will be spoiling the game. However, I'll feature one of them in an upcoming playable demo that you'll be able to get from itch.io for free. Let me know what you would like to see in the game and please give me some feedback down in the comments, I would be very, very grateful. I'm planning on releasing one video per week at least, so stay tuned for those. Hopefully by then I'll have a nice playable demo that you guys can try out. Thanks a lot for watching and I'm looking forward to sharing my journey with you. See ya.